One of the best tech-related side hustles would be to create a virus and then create an antivirus solution for that virus. I didn't say that. Let's start all over again. Hi, my name is Olga and if you're new here, you might like to subscribe and click the bell icon because here on this channel we discuss everything related to career and business growth with a strong focus on work at home careers, home businesses and IT jobs and you don't want to miss that out. And if you're a veteran here, welcome back Top Gun. As I mentioned, one of our focuses here is IT jobs and home related businesses. So if you'd like to start any side hustle that is tech related, continue watching. But before we do that and before we dive into this one, I want to have few words of warning, all the pitfalls that will await you if you want to start tech-related side hustle. If you don't want to listen to all of those pitfalls, if you don't want to know about the dangers that await you, click to this time code and you will jump straight into the list. And if you want to know about the pitfalls that await you, continue watching. By the way, I have another freebie for you and you freebie. So if you want to know more about it, make sure to stick to the very end. Let's go. Side hustles seem easy to manage and easy to start, especially tech-related side hustles. Like what are few hours of work during your business week or on the weekend, right? So you can dedicate this amount, you can invest this time into your side hustle, right? But before you do that, make sure to check out that you don't fall into any of these pitfalls. And the first one would be to check your company's policy. If you're thinking of starting a side hustle, I presume that you have your nine to five or you work uh, at home, you have a home job, but in any way, I presume that you have one steady employer or one major client. So make sure to check out the company's policy of which you are an employee to make sure that you are not violating them. I believe that you have signed as a new employee or as a contractor, you have signed an agreement and there in that agreement, there might have been things said about not being in competition. So make sure that you don't fall into violating any of the company's rules. The next thing you might want to consider is to tell your boss or not to tell your boss or manager. And I'm not a financial or legal advisor, so I cannot tell what would be the best way for you because some company's policies are really strict and of course, some companies' policies do not allow you to work on any side hustles and let alone starting your own business. So in this case, I believe you might want to keep your mouth shut. But if you choose to tell your boss, make sure again that your side hustle does not run into competition with the company's policy. And another thing here, be careful with whom you share your ideas about side hustles because gossiping in corporate environment are so common that you don't want to fall into that trap. The next thing you want to consider is to consider your strengths. Think about what you actually can do. And well, my advice is do not run into the things you are completely unfamiliar with. For example, if you're a good coder and you you understand that you're, you can do some coding side hustle job. You can, for example, create an app, an application that you can upload to uh, App Store and other resources for people to download them and then somehow monetize them. But if you don't have if you don't have a business strategy on how to monetize, monetize that app, I wouldn't be too confident that you would master the marketing skills by yourself. My advice is do not get over your head. There are some things that could not be mastered within a few days or even a few weeks. So in this case, you might want to bring in some co-founder or share your side hustle with someone. The next is, and this one is so important, is your sanity. What I mean here is like working an extra 10 or 15 or 20 hours per week might not seem like a big deal to you. Like, okay, I can dedicate a couple of hours after work each day and several hours on the weekend. If you are, for example, a DevOps engineer and you want to create some sort of an app again, do you really want to come back home from your corporate nine to five and code again, like code from down to dust? 
code, code, code. Do you really want that? It might be good, well, in the long term for your app, for a side hustle, it might be good, but it will be so critical for your burnout that I've seen so many IT people burning out and I've talked about burnouts in that video of mine. So make sure that you don't lose your sanity. Your sanity and your productive condition is more important than some extra bucks that you can make on your side hustle. And the last warning I have for you would be taxes. Actually, in uh, all the developed countries, side hustles are taxable. So if you receive any sort of income to your bank account, then you will have to pay taxes out of that one. So you will want you might want to consider how you're going to handle all of those extra taxes. Are you going to incorporate your new side hustle, your new business, or are you going to, I don't know, open some additional account? In each case and in each country, those conditions might be different. So do consider this one to not bring more trouble to your head. And the last warning and the largest warning I have for you is that side hustling is not for everyone, let me repeat it again, it's not for everyone. If your primary goal is to increase your income, then one wise man said, if you're looking for um, for increased income, better look for a better paying full-time job because side hustling is stressful, it's exhausting, and honestly, it's not for everyone. But if you're still up into it, if you're interested, interest has not died and if you're still with me let's jump into the list so the first side hustle that you can start as a tech specialist is starting it consulting of course it means that this consulting will be related to your primary job for example if you are a big data engineer you might like to start consulting on big data issues if you are a mobile developer, mobile apps developer, again, you might want to start consulting on mobile apps development and so on. This one is the less stressful, the less stressful side hustle that you can start. And it is one of the uh, most reliable side hustles that you can bring into life. IT consulting means actually that you do consulting for some clients that don't want to hire some in-house development or in-house specialists and you solve their problems. And this means that you only provide consulting and you only work, uh, or you only do that side hustle until you have contracts, until you have uh, some incoming requests. When you don't have them, you're okay to have a rest. And this one is the most reliable in terms that you can actually turn it into a full-time business as soon as you realize that the income is enough to substitute your full-time job. The next side hustle you can start as a tech specialist is teaching IT skills. And it could be performed in so many ways. You can uh, record an online course on your speciality, for example, uh, an online course on data engineering uh, or an online course on nature language processing. You can also teach online one-to-one -one, like Skype lessons and you can help uh, that student to learn to code, for example. Or you can apply at your local college or uh, at your local school or at your local university to hold some evening classes that would suit perfectly with your 9-to-5 job. And I know some people here in my, lo in my home city who actually do that. They work full-time corporate jo job from 9 to 5 and then like starting 7 p.m. they teach students uh, offline courses. So this might be another very profitable side hustle where you get your money straight away. Another side hustle is slightly related to the previous one in, and that is STEM instructor, STEM tutor. STEM exams are so important and parents want to make sure that their kids have the best tutors and the best knowledge that they can get and tutors become pretty popular especially before the exams time so you can do this again online you can do this offline in your local community you can apply a different tutoring websites and uh, actually stem tutors make uh, between 25 and 75 dollars per hour so this one is again a pretty well pretty uh, profitable side hustle. Another one is pretty basic and that is web and mobile development. And here you can do this two ways. First way is freelancing, is doing some 
work for demand on any freelancing websites. And second is what all the developers dream about is to create an app or a website that brings them money, create some real money making thing. Here there are also pitfalls. There's no one looking over your shoulder and you know, no one setting you strict deadlines. So it takes a lot of strong personality and self-control to actually finish your app and even more self-control and more struggle to bring it to the market and actually make it a profitable app because I've seen so many great ideas and great apps just being buried and being forgotten about because, well, the developers who created them, there were tech people and they didn't know how to do marketing and how to monetize their creation. And that's what you have to start with. Think how you can monetize your app. The next one is again slightly related to the previous one and that is Chatbot Builder. Chatbots are becoming more and more popular. I believe every single website now has some sort of a chatbot. But the thing with those chatbots is that those chatbots should be somehow customized, even if the company wants the simplest chatbot that, I don't know, answers the questions or schedules appointments, it should be customized in, well, in any way. So if you're good with this one, this becomes pretty popular direction for developers. Another tech site hustle that you can start is WordPress developer. And what I mean here is creating WordPress plugins. Over 60 million websites now are built on WordPress and this number is only increasing. And of course, their owners do not want their website to look like their neighbor's <laughs> website or like their competitor's website. So they would be willing to pay some uh, extra money for using some plugin. Because nowadays it's so much easier to use some sort of plugins or add-ons to make your site look uh, more specific and more uh, to make it stand out from your competition than hiring some developer to, to do the customized website, to do the website from scratch. It will cost you, I don't know, millions in some cases. And if you take some ready template, you can work straight away and pay like a monthly fee or fifteen dollars that would be so much more affordable than hiring a development team to do everything from scratch the next side hustle is creating subscription websites again it could be done two ways you either do subscription websites for uh, on demand so for other creators and for other people or you create a subscription website for yourself subscription websites mean that people pay on a monthly basis to get an access to your content. To that end, the content on that website should be really valuable, should be extremely valuable, and that content they should not be able to find anywhere else. So if you think of starting this side hustle of creating a subscription website, which is, by the way, crazily profitable, then you should consider uh, creating some valuable content and proving your idea that people are actually willing to pay for that content. And to that end, you might, well, you might consider pairing up with someone so that that person helps you to create that content. And now if you'd like to learn more about IT careers and IT jobs and IT business direction that you might take, make sure to grab my ultimate guide on IT professions, which contains both tech and non-tech directions tech and non-tech IT professions that you can take and how you can actually start them. The link to this guide is in the description and in the first comment to this video. Let me know, by the way, which professions are you more interested in, tech or non-tech? That would be it for today. Thanks for watching till the very end. Have an amazing week, have a great mood and see you next Wednesday. Bye.